everybody, I know you're excited to find out what two games that we found in the stash. So I'm going to tell you, and then we're, maybe we're going to try to play them. But first, we found another box. We've already opened this and looked at it, but I wanted to show you guys what's in it. First of all, we have the NBA, Today's Stars, Tomorrow's Legends, including uh, some, uh, some notable faces such as Cliff Robinson, who I don't remember, Isaiah Ryder, and uh, it's like a common name. And uh, so the box, though, has a, quite a treat for me, because it, it includes my turtle van and some little robot dude and my turtle uh, Annihilator. monster truck thing, which supposedly has a, you can get a guy can ride on the back, it has an ooze filter on it, which it says inside. So anyways, that's the uh, contents of the cool box, but the games. Now this is something, I remembered having these games, but I could have swore a long time ago that I would gotten rid of them. But I didn't, apparently, because they're in the box. We have Super Metroid and Soul Blazer, two of my all-time favorite games. Both worth a little bit of money, so I hope they work. Um, yeah, so we're going to go try to play them. Okay, so I've got Super Metroid, got the TV ready. Let's see if it works. I got a feeling it's gonna work. And it works. Let's play a, uh, play a little. Let's see if we can do, uh, work some first level magic. Hit the wrong button. <laughs> okay, what button? This one? Ah. The last Metroid is in It talks! The galaxy is at peace. Oh, you can't skip this stuff. Nope. Just tried. So, sorry, you can't really read it on the TV. I'll read it. The, I first battled the Metroids on Planet Zeebs. It was there that I foiled the plan of the space pirate leader Mother Brain to use the creatures to attack galactic space civilization dot dot dot. Ooh. Fought the Metroids on their home world, SR388. Period. I completely eradicated them except for a larva, which after mat after hatching followed me like a confused child. Dot dot dot. personally delivered it to the Galactic Research Station at Ceres so scientists could study its energy producing qualities. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, okay. <laughs> the scientists' findings were astounding. Exclamation point. They discovered that the powers of the Metroid might be harnessed for the good of civilization. Now can we play? Oh. Satisfied that all was well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt. But I had hardly gone beyond the asteroid belt when I picked up a distress signal. Well, it was an exclamation point. Just that signal! Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, two exclamation points. Certain station was under attack!
I remember the first level of this game being pretty sweet. Or not the first level, but this first little section. So we got some dead scientists that have been brutally mutilated, as you can see. And this game's not for kids. Well, there's your buddy. Yeah, but I'm so confused. What's going on? Why can't I go anywhere I do anything? Uh-oh. Scary, man. I can't win this fight. Spoiler alert. You can't win? No. Does it usually show the like the boss's life and stuff though? No, I think they just change color. See it? Well, when you're actually fighting them, I think they just change color. Mm -hmm. This game came out before I was born, if any of you guys were wondering, so. No, it came out in 94. Oh, I thought it came out in 92. So you were just a... I was you, one, so I probably, I probably beat the game pretty fast. Yeah. You were a wee lass. But you were alive. Oh no, emergency! Self destruct! Oh, get out! Uh, I only have one minute! The funny thing is, when I, play, I remember when I was a kid and I was playing this, I thought, Oh no, one minute! <laughs> oh, I will never make it out alive! I always hated things that were timed. Yeah, but the thing, funny thing is, watch how long it actually ends up taking me. Because it's not... One minute is tons of time, really. For this section. Well, I mean, she's super fast, so... Uh-oh, we're getting crooked. She must have had a drink while she was in there. See, they give you twice the amount of time that you need. Or maybe you're just fast. Could be. Okay. Well, there you have it. It works. Um, and it's cool. Should we try Soul Blazer real quick? Yeah, we'll try Soul Blazer. See if it works. I remember Soul Blazer. I mean, Super Metroid was awesome. Soul Blazer, I may have actually liked even better than... Uh, than Super Metro, I don't know. So, Blazer! Robots in the sky. Doesn't work. <laughs> uh, maybe we need to blow on it. If you notice, there's a big chunk out of the side and uh, the back is broken. So, maybe it won't work. Or maybe. So, Blazer. Oh, that's not good. Now, this one came out before you were born. Oh, okay. came from above my follower since you will be able to speak with all living things you should have a name please choose a name for yourself uh, stud muffin I won't fit no. I'll just, how about just uh, stud muffin studly yeah studly studly what an interesting name all right <laughs> Go and save the world for all creatures. Don't mind if I do. Studly received Sword of Life. Equipped the Sword of Life. And now we can... Kick butt. Yeah. Uh, take that, naked green guy. You, but you could probably just get unlimited money if you just kept doing this. Oh. No, that's the point. That, that's the way the game works. Then you get, like, the old guys show up. And a monkey. Used to live up in the sky like you. Now I'm living on Earth, away from the Master. 
All the creatures that have been captured by Death Toll are sealed away in monster lairs. Just if you set me free, you must free everyone. Even the release of a small tree or creature, they will aid you in your quest. Here, take this. Studley received the Flame Ball of Magic. Man, like two seconds in a game, you already get two items. See, that's the cool thing about old games, you know? They just throw you right in there and you just go. If I was trying to play like a PS3 game right now or something, I would be in the middle of a tutorial showing me how to hit the B button to swing my sword, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they don't tell you how to play, do they? No. I mean, I just had to hit all the buttons until I hit the sword button. And then I see that button does that. Just to, but there's sword, and I guess I can, uh, yeah, see, equip some flame ball. And then, yeah, nice. Can, see? You just fiddle until you figure out how to do it. Cool. What I always liked about this game is you, this is this is a town before. Uh, so you go down, you fight the monster, you step on those little circle things like I did to make the monkey man appear. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, a house will appear in this field. So it's a cool mm. game. I'm glad it works. I get to play some more. Nice. And I'm shocked that those two awesome games were in that box. So there you have it. That's, the, that's it for the. Peace out. Thank you.